say she fucking cool and shut and then she said she won't Look at that, ask me, do I got some hoes? I lied and said I don't Put that drink inside my styrofoam, now I feel like a ghost Money all I need and money all I want She say she fucking cool and shut and Alright, what's that word, YouTube, man? It's Clover, and we is back with another video. I know y'all probably wonder, like, Clover, you sitting down at the table with a bag in front of you and a drink. And it's because we're going to be doing a college-type mukbang today. I'm going to be talking to y'all about college for the most part. I ain't even going to cap to y'all. You see what I'm saying? But hold on. Before you eat, you know you want to take your jacket off and everything. You don't want to get the jacket dirty. But look, this is the drink that we got today. We got a naked... This is the Power C machine, you see what I'm saying? And then let me show y'all the food and everything, but wait, before you even do that, man, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man, if y'all new, I go by Clover, you see what I'm saying? I am 18, I am in college, you see what I'm saying? So most of my content right now is based around college, so if I do do anything, I do do videos outside of college too, you see what I'm saying? I do fun type of videos, this is my main channel, you see what I'm saying? But I do have a second channel, which is Clover Extras, where I post all my extra content, stream clips stream videos reaction videos anything extra dealing with me clover is going on the clover's extra channel you see what i'm saying but look man let's dive straight into this man make sure y'all like comment subscribe man we are doing a giveaway at 10,000 subscribers so if y'all want to do a giveaway 10k subs you know what i'm saying that's what we're doing all righty y'all my bad i had to make sure my intro and everything was straight make sure y'all see it and let's put this back to the status y'all see i got a box and i got another little cardboard box right here but in the first box we got the ranch man the ranch and then we got the wings these are honey sriracha lemon pepper wings hold on let me uh unravel it for y'all right quick so y'all can get a better look man we got the honey sriracha lemon pepper wings and i ain't gonna lie my college down there they be going crazy they be doing extra sauce on that store without seafood we got the honey sriracha look the sauce gonna come out i come out the cardboard you see what i'm saying and then what y'all think of this box? What y'all think of this box? We got a pepperoni pizza, man. They gave me a, a bogus slice today. Usually the slices look way better. Yeah, they kind of messed up my slice today. I'm not even gonna cap. They gave me an ugly slice over there. I see them pick up the slice out of all the other slices in the front, bro. It's good. You see what I'm saying? Cause somebody gonna have to get in today. It was just my day to get it. You see what I'm saying? But I ain't even gonna laugh. The first thing we gonna dab in on is these Honey sriracha wings, before we even start talking about college, I like going or anything like that. We gotta take one bite of the wings right quick. Y'all know Clover Love is flats. So we're gonna pick up a flat. Look at look at that ring, y'all. Look at that ring. It's the wing dripping. That's how much they put up on that. Look at that wing, y'all. We're gonna put on, let me get the thumbnail right quick. Spreading it on that. Okay, that's cool. I would get a little bit too much of the thumbnail. Ah, we're gonna set that ranch on top of the plastic. We're gonna try not to dirty it up for real. If we do dirty something up, we clean it up. You see what I'm saying? Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. First bite. I'm gonna smoke it a little bit. You know, I had to walk all the way back to my dorm. I don't know how it's still hot, but it's still hot. Let me finish this first one before I start talking about it to y'all about it. Just look at it, y'all. Like, crazy. Look, man, y'all call me Big Bad, y'all call me whatever, man. Um, honey sriracha rings? And we got the napkins right here. Them honey sriracha rings, boy, you can't go wrong with you, see what I'm saying? But look, I know y'all probably running around, man, right now, bro. I am in the sun room with my college. It's like a little area where it's just all windows and everything everywhere. I usually just go here to sit down, man, do work, or anything like that to get away from people and everything. But don't, don't too many people be in here, you see what I'm saying? So this is kind of like a getaway where you just sit, listen to your thoughts and everything. 
And don't too many people come here because it's a more room. You see what I'm saying? Everybody getting a laugh. But look, let's get into the topic about college, man, and how life is going so far. First, I'm going to ask y'all, man, how is y'all life going so far? How is y'all lives, man? Comment down below, tell me how y'all life going so far. Tell me the ups and downs of y'all lives right now, man. I'm trying to hear it all. You see what I'm saying? Over care about y'all too. I don't want y'all just, just always hear about me. I only hear about y'all too. I only hear about y'all life and everything too because I care about y'all, man. It's clothing gang or no gang. You see what I'm saying? We gotta stick together. It's like a brotherhood. This is family. You see what I'm saying? We all love each other, man. I love y'all, man. If nobody told if nobody told y'all they love y'all today. Clover love you. You see what I'm saying? Clover love you. Starting off with me and everything, college so far has been honestly, it been cool. You, see? it been cool. I'm gonna stop saying you see what I'm saying. It been cool. I can't even lie. It has been cool. Nothing has really went too too bad for real. all the classes going back smooth. And I ain't gonna lie, my grades is pretty average. They average right now, but they're average because not because I can't do the work. I don't know what I'm doing because I'm actually failing in the class. I'm not failing. By the way, not failing. I'm passing all the classes right now. <laughs> but they're average because sometimes I honestly don't feel like doing the work in that thing, bro. Cause I got so much on my plate. I got college, I got YouTube, I got work, I got things outside of all of that. You see what I'm saying? I gotta do stuff with my free time. I just got a whole mixture of everything on my plate. And I can't be mad at it, you see what I'm saying? I honestly can't be mad at it. As long as I'm passing and everything, that's all good, man. But honestly, college as a whole. It has been good. I love the, the whole feeling of, oh, uh, you know, dorming and everything, getting away from home, the whole new little lifestyle and everything. It's cool. So if y'all watching this and y'all in high school or y'all uh, below or anything like that and y'all wondering about college, I say even if you don't want to go to college, at least do the first year just for experience. Because honestly, I didn't want to go to college at all, man. I wanted my YouTube to blow up bad and we still want, you know, see if YouTube can blow up so we could, you know? But I did, I wanted my YouTube to blow up bad and I ain't gonna lie, so I wouldn't be able to go to college, man, because I honestly didn't want to go to college. I didn't want to learn no more. I did, I, at the high school, I just wanted to live life, bro. I didn't want to go to college. I didn't want to do no more school. But honestly, that I'm here now, I kind of like it because I don't take too, too well. I do take a decent amount of classes. But it's cool. You meet new people, you connect, you network. You do a lot of things, you meet new friends and everything, like, it's like, honestly, I'm black, I'm light-skinned, as y'all can see, and I'm meeting other races that I never thought I'd actually meet and be cool and hang around, like, it's people from, from Caucasian to Mexican to, you know, you see, and that's, I never thought that'd happen, but I mess with it because it's cool, we all can come around, we all can interact with each other, we all can do everything like that, it's all cool, and honestly, being a black kid, Primarily around black people growing up Chicago South Side primarily around black people who ghetto this and that Honestly Shifting over here being a college man, and it's like a whole little change If y'all don't know I go to like a little Catholic college in Chicago almost in the suburbs of Chicago But it's not in the suburbs just yet But it's cool like you see you get diversity here and I ain't gonna lie it's mostly um It's mostly white people Caucasians and y'all that's what y'all want to say and they all cool, but they like it ain't like they racist. It's not like ooh, 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 because it is our fair share of black people too. It's like mostly white and black. And I ain't gonna lie, Mexicans like or any other races kind of like you know. It ain't too many. It's mostly white and mostly white, and then uh, the rest is mostly black. You see what I'm saying? But it's cool. Ain't nobody racist. Ain't nobody doing nothing crazy. Ain't, ain't nobody fighting. Ain't no. You see what I'm saying? We all live together. We all like brothers. You see what I'm saying? And it's all cool. Everybody get along. Don't nobody got no problem with each other. If you do got a problem with each other, you just, you know, talk it out, ooh, ooh, ooh. it ain't like high school when you got a problem with each other. Back in, back in, you know, you got a problem with somebody, you fighting, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no talking, ain't no none of that, you fighting, you see what I'm saying? But now that you here, bro, it's like manlyhood, you see what I'm saying? Like, you a man now, bro. You ain't finna do all that fighting, all that crying over a situation just if somebody stepped on your shoes, just if somebody called you up, you know who called you out your name, you ain't finna do all that at college, bro. Cause you got more things you can lose. You can lose your scholarship. You can lose this. You, could, you know, it's more things you can lose. So you're not gonna come out here and do all that dumb stuff that you was doing back there. You see what I'm saying? It ain't none of that. But I ain't gonna lie. Aside from all that yapping, as y'all would say, college honestly has me smooth. I ain't even gonna lie, and I honestly do. Can't say I like it, cause I do like college. It is cool, man. 
But honestly, Clover has been thinking about not dropping out this year, I ain't gonna cap. But I'm finna start grinding YouTube more. I can't even like, I'm finna start grinding YouTube more because honestly, Clover doesn't wanna be in college because if there's another option other than me being in college and living life and making money and living life happily, I'm gonna do it. Mm. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I don't wanna still be in school and learning. And honestly, college is death. I ain't gonna lie, I check my school account. Cause I am here on scholarship, but my scholarship don't cover the whole tuition. If I look at my school account, I'm like, bro, looking at all these four years, me being here for all these four years, bro, I'm gonna be in thousands of debt, you see what I'm saying? And who wants to be in debt and have to pay that off just, just to go to school? Not me, that's not what I'm trying to do, huh? Coming from a black household and everything, and seeing family members in debt, or just seeing people you know in debt, college debt and everything like that, and still paying it off until this day, bro, it's like, I wanna be the one that break that cycle, I wanna be the one I want to be the one that's not in depth. I want to be the one that's traveling the world. I want to be the one that, oh yeah, Chris doing this. This is, I don't know if my real name Chris. Chris doing this. Chris outside doing this. Chris has got his first apartment at 19. That's the goal. I ain't gonna cap. I gotta get that first apartment at 19. I ain't gonna cap. I, that's what's making me grind hard. It's my birthday coming up. I'm gonna be 19 years old, bro. 19 years old, I'm trying to have an apartment at 19. I feel like that's a good age to get my own apartment because I feel like I'm responsible enough. I feel like everything, you see what I'm saying? I feel like I can really do that. I feel like I need my own personal space, being in a dorm with somebody else. My roommate cool, shout out to my roommate. He cool, but that's just not me. I need my own space. I can play the game, stream, be too, too loud late at night, ooh, 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 ooh make my videos more crazy. I feel like that's just what I need to be able to do. Alright guys, that was a slight intermission in there, but it's not I came out that room. But the sunroom is by people's dorms and that thing. So they did come out their room. Or whatever, I didn't know they were walking here or whatever. Because this is a, a public open space. But like I was saying, I am trying to the next big goal to me. I was thinking about getting a new car, but I thought like Clover. You already got a car. What's wrong with your 2021 Volkswagen Jetta that you got at the age of 18 as soon as you turned 18? The 20, and I got that, what, 2024? It just turned 2024. I got a 2021 car in 2024 at 18 and I just turned 18. What's wrong with that car? You see what I'm saying? But me looking at all these other expensive cars, seeing like, what they get that's better than my car, it had me thinking, like, you know, I want something fast. I want to upgrade. You know what I'm saying? I thought to myself, you don't need that, man. Your next goal is the apartment, man. Because as long as you got a car to pull up to your apartment, it ain't got to be a BMW. It ain't got to be a BMW. It ain't got to be a Hellcat. You know I don't want to go Hellcat. I ain't even gonna lie. I know everybody in Atlanta got Hellcats and everything. The whole YouTube scene is just surrounded by Hellcats, man. I ain't gonna lie. The car after I get my apartment, I either want it to be a Benz or a BMW. I ain't even gonna cap and I want to get it wrapped. And I ain't gonna lie. I know this video probably not gonna get as many views, so I'm gonna tell y'all what type of rap I want on my car. I honestly want like a matte black type of rap with a clove on the side. Y'all know how they be having the little um the little Hellcat uh, logo on the side, the little vinyl in there. I'm gonna show y'all a little picture if I can. I want to have a clove of the, like a little clover right there, just you know on the side, like bro, that's hard. Like, you know that's cool when he pull up. You know what I mean? I hop out fresh. You see what I'm saying? I'm pulling up to any event. Fresh as usual, you see what I'm saying? That's probably that's gonna be tough, but that's me. I got my own little swag to it, you see what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be like everybody else. I ain't trying to do all that. Who you seen with a clover logo on a Saturday collar? Come on, man. I feel like that is just gonna be tough, man. I'm gonna be the first one to ever do it for real. Oh, y'all. You gotta kill these wings, man. You ain't hitting on something decent. I do got work in a little minute. So I can't talk too too long for real for real. But honestly, I'm gonna stay more on the college topic for a little minute. Honestly, I would say that I only want to do college for like one more year. I don't know before I drop out because I want to see what well, um, YouTube and stuff like that are taking. And like YouTube, 
or a different job or something like that ain't taking me nowhere in the next year, I just stick to college for the next four years. Cause it's like, bro, at that point I ain't got no choice, man. I ain't really making it. I ain't going too too crazy. But I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying to upload and stay in school at the same time. I'm trying to upload. I'm trying to manage a job and all these different tasks at the same time. You see what I'm saying? I'm trying to screen for y'all. I'm trying to do this, bro. That's I Clover been grinding. I can't even cap. Clover been grinding. Clover been doing stuff behind the scenes. Clover been trying to get these videos out for y'all. I'm gonna get y'all a sneak peek to my next video because this video will drop before that before that even happens or takes place. So y'all really be in some gems right now. The next video I am having, or the next big video, me and Mora are getting a hotel downtown Chicago. So. We're gonna have a whole lot of little couple videos and everything, couple vlogs. I know y'all like that, man, little date vlogs and everything. And we're just gonna have fun, man. That's just what we're gonna do. It's gonna be a whole lot of content, a whole lot of vlogs, a whole lot of videos, a whole lot of everything. And also, I will be having more. I'm gonna teach you how to drive, y'all. So y'all will see that video coming real, real soon. Hopefully, the title ain't nothing crazy. Like, she crashed my car, because if she crashed my car, that's gonna be crazy, you know what I'm Hopefully, she don't crash the car, man. But yeah, there's gonna be a whole lot more content coming soon, man. I'm trying to push this content out. I'm trying to go crazy. Now, I actually do have a video dropping today. It's the NIU vlog. It's, the, it's called We Crashed a College Party. That's the video that dropped today. I honestly feel like that video should do decent because, you know, I actually took some my hard time editing that video. That video is almost an hour long. It's 52 minutes. I actually took my hard time trying to edit that video and everything. I actually turn out, so I do feel like that video should do decent. It shouldn't do bad at all. And I usually don't promote it, stuff like that, on my Instagram, but I am going to promote this on my Instagram. You see what I'm saying? And it should be tough. So let me get a thumbnail with pizza. I go, they made this pizza terrible today. This pizza is, look at this pizza, y'all. They made it terrible, man. Like, this, is, this is bad eats. This is a little bad eats. I'm like, who else made the pizza, bro? You need your ass whooped. I don't even you need your ass whooped. What is this again? Look at the back of the pizza, again. And it usually don't be like this. I don't know, they gave me an old pizza that I've been sitting out. People ain't been getting pizza thin. But this is a terrible pizza. I don't even want to eat this pizza. I ain't gonna cap it to our folks, man. This pizza is terrible. I ain't even no garbage here, but this is definitely one of the garbage. We just gonna fit in my wings. I don't even cop. I got two more wings up because I did a five piece. I asked him for a six piece and told me, we only got five wings right, right now. You want five wings? Oh, you wanna wait? Clover and I wait. You see what I'm saying? So, that's just what we did. But they are, they know they're terrible and down bad for that pizza, bro. You, I ain't gonna, I know what it was. The lady who used to be making the pieces and going crazy on the little pizza station, she wasn't there. So, there was a guy there. And he probably don't know what he's doing, man. I know not to get no pizza while I do with that game. Only when that lady does, cause she be going crazy on the pieces, man. She be looking like me when I make my pieces, you see what I'm saying? Y'all know I be going crazy when I be making the pieces, you see what I'm saying? If y'all, only the real OGs know where I work at. Y'all know I be going crazy when I be making the pieces, man. But yeah. Definitely foul for making that piece like that, though. I ain't gonna cap. But yeah, Chloe do. See himself trying to get his first apartment at 19, man. That is the next big goal. That is my dream, man. I ain't even gonna cap it to y'all. But we gotta do it. We gotta do it. It's like it's no way around it. I have it on Zillow and other apps searching for apartments and everything around the Chicago area. I'm not trying to stay in Chicago though. If I do get an apartment, it will be in the suburbs. I've been looking at this one apartment. It's a little high rise type of apartment. They want around two bands a month for it. It's tough though. It's tough, but Clover got to start, you know, throwing out these videos so we can accumulate the revenue to acquire that each and every month. You see what I'm saying? Or we can't, we can't miss no payment, man. I ain't, I'm going to make a show like I'm going to be able to make this money. You see what I'm saying? Before I go out and make a stupid decision like get an apartment in my name without having the income every single month to pay for it, I'm going to make sure I got that income every single month to pay for it. All right, Clover ain't done. He just ain't going to go out there and make no stupid decision on no stupid person. No stupid purchase. 
after the night, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I'm right, yeah. I know I'm gonna make this much, this month. I know I'm gonna make this much, this month. This month, in the month, after, you know what I mean? And the month after that month, the month after that month. I'm gonna make sure I got enough saved up, even if I don't make it these months. Hey, hey y'all, you know? You just gotta be smart with what you're doing. Just don't go out there and make a dumb person. You ain't gonna be able to keep up with it financially. Facts. Oh my goodness, I'm spinning right now. I'm trying to teach y'all something. But I think I do. My credit score do need a little bit more working on. But my, it's not my I got a good credit score. But it's just that I'm 18 and I just started getting credit. So my credit age isn't really built up, built up for real. So I need to let my credit age go for a little bit longer, man. I am about to be 18. I got a pretty good credit score, you know. Paying off my car and everything. Credit cards. I'm going crazy, man. I ain't gonna have to be 18, bro. I feel like I'm living life just fine. I feel like I'm living life like an average 18 year old. I ain't gonna cry. But to be monetized at 18, also a great thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Be monetized at 18. Look at this big wig, y'all. I'm just drenched in sriracha sauce. Oh. Wow. To be monetized at 18 also is a blessing. I can't do nothing but thank the Lord above, man. Y'all gotta start looking, thanking the Lord. The Lord above for everything. I tell y'all. Also, y'all, look, Dirk just got arrested. Well, he got arrested yesterday, bro, for... He allegedly hired his OTF members to go out there and kill Quano Rondo's friend, Lil Pab. What's y'all thoughts on that situation? I ain't even gonna cap, man. My thoughts is, bro, it's like, bro, at a certain age, bro, because Dirk is 32, so when he hired that, he was like 30. He just turned around when he just turned 30. Because it happened like two years ago, bro. It's like, come on, bro. It comes to a certain age where it's like, you got to stop, bro. Like, if he if that never happened, bro, he'll still be living life, still be with his kids and their day. Now he's going to probably go to jail for the rest of his life, bro. And it isn't like the state picked Lil Dirk up. The state didn't pick up Lil Dirk. The feds picked up Little Dirk. They called him before he was trying to get on the plane to leave the country, bro. The feds picked him up. So y'all know when the feds come, they don't play. The feds do not play, so they come, when they come, they know they got enough evidence to uh, lock you away for L. You see what I'm saying? They don't, they don't come when they, when they know they ain't got enough evidence against you just to hold you. They come when they know they got enough evidence against you, when they know they gonna lock you behind that for years. You see what I'm saying? And they also said his homie snitched on him, which is crazy. I was reading that same homie said Lil Dirk gave him fifty thousand dollars, bought him a house, and bought him a car as soon as he got out of jail. But for him to do that and go around his back and stab in the back like that is crazy. That is crazy. But yeah, honestly, I'm gonna just say, bro, I know Lil Dirk probably was grieving in that moment about King Von and that thing. He just wanted to get back, but it comes to like a point, bro. I never been in this situation, so I can't really speak on it. But it's like, come on, man, come on, bro, come. On. But I do mess with Lil Durk and everything he has been doing recently with the whole Chicago, because I am in Chicago, the whole Stop the Violence. He brought out J-Main and everything on tour. I don't tour, but as a concert, his last concert, also mess with that, because his last concert was in Chicago. I thought like he did that on, pur on purpose for his little birthday pass. He had his last concert in Chicago, bro. That's tough, I ain't gonna lie. That's honestly tough. But yeah, man. Uh... What y'all think? Y'all think Lil Durk gonna be free? Honestly, I honestly don't, because when the feds come, bro, it's pretty much Raps game. That's all you can do is just call it Raps game. That's a sad thing to see, though, man. They say he took his kids to Disney World, Disneyland. I don't know the difference. I've never been. <laughs> i never been. The day before he got arrested, or the day of? I don't know. I think it was the day before he got arrested, he took his kids to Disney World, man. So they can enjoy themselves. My last time with their father before he go away. But he did say in that song, they out here while I'm gonna be in 10 years. I say feds. And hey, I mean, you, you, you reap what you sow, you see what I'm saying? You, you speaking out of pie yourself, it's gonna happen. But you can't just keep talking about this. Keep doing this, keep doing that, keep making these decisions. And thinking that nothing bad gonna happen. But it's clear that he knew he was gonna, he was gonna go and I ain't gonna count. When you got that type of mindset, bro, it's just bound to happen. Like, if I get to the top of my mind and say that, oh yeah, I want to make a million dollars, I want to do this, I want to do that, and I'm actually working towards that. You know what I mean? Hopefully it's going to happen. But if I got the mindset that, oh yeah, 
I know I'm being a feds and I keep hiring people to kill people. I keep being in the streets. I keep connecting myself with this. You reaping what you're saying, you see what I'm saying? You basically saying, you saying it. And you doing the things that can achieve that goal. You achieving that goal, bro. He just achieved that goal, man. It's one of these things where you just gotta stop, bro. You gotta stop, man. It's a sad thing to see, though, man. Everybody in jail, man. Most of all the artists is in jail, man. We got a young boy in jail. We got a young thug in jail. Now we got a little dirt in jail, man. Like, dang, man. These are my, these are my artists of my town. You see what I'm saying? I think Youngboy gotta do like three years. I don't know, I don't know how many years Youngboy gotta do. But was he sentenced yet? I don't know. I don't know, I just know Youngboy now. He doing dumb stuff on house arrest. Youngboy did that to himself, man. Yeah. But they all did that to themselves, but it's like, come on, bro. Youngboy's just the most dumbest, I ain't gonna <laughs> you, you on house arrest doing all that crazy stuff, bro. Come on, man. But look, y'all know, man, this is the end of this video, man. Let me know if y'all want me to do more sit down, toss these looks. I'm gonna call this catch up with clothes, man. So y'all catch up with me, man. We do like a little muck, a little muck, man. We just catch up with each other, you see what I'm saying? Because I told y'all, man, we respectful, man. Somebody else gotta sit right here. Somebody else gotta, you know, come right here and eat. Somebody else gotta do something right here. But let me know if y'all wanna do more, more catch up with clothes and we catch up with each other, man. I'll tell y'all what's going on. We talk about topics and we do more stuff like this. And honestly, if I ain't got nothing to upload, catch up with clothes, you see what I'm saying? See how I'm doing. I as well. I ain't gonna lie, this nakedness is very, very great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but look, man, if y'all are new to the channel, man, y'all stay the whole video, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. We are doing the giveaway at 10k subs, man. Other than that, it's Clover Gang and Oga. And if I need me, K Hey, we out of